Invest in success with Pub Quiz Prep. Hello and welcome back to Pub Quiz Prep, the trivia training school that allows you to reach the magnitude, the zenith of your true trivia potential. It's been a little while, so uh, let's dive straight on in. So today's episode will be what I like to call Volume 5, Round 4. Now, I've got 10 questions uh, here for you today. Uh, no cheating. Okay, here we go. So question number one. The Bronx is a borough of which US city? Now, if at any point you need to hit pause and have a think about things, that's fine. Uh, that's what technology is there uh, for you to do at your fingertips. Here we go. Uh, that question again, though, uh, just for some extra thinking time. The Bronx is a borough of which U.S. city? Okay, question two. What actor starred in Stand By Me, running on empty? I think my stomach's a little bit empty at the moment. It's just uh, kind of making a little bit of noise there. My own private Idaho and sneakers. Now, I wrote this question so long ago that I don't even know the answer. Here we go. So, question two. What actor starred in Stand By Me? I've seen none of these films, so here we go. Running on empty, my own private Idaho and sneakers. Question number three. Here we go. Let's have a look. What metal? What metal is the visible layer of the Statue of Liberty made from? So, what metal is the visible layer of the Statue of Liberty made from? Question number four. What distilled beverage made from the blue agave plant is named after the city that it was first produced? And I'm guessing it's not champagne. Question four. So what distilled beverage, speaking of beverage, I might just have one right now. And back to normal programming. Question four. What distilled beverage made from the blue agave plant is named after the city that it was first produced? Question number five was Peter Longbottom. The inventor of an early hand cranked leaf blower initially marketed as the auto rake. Was he a British cyclist or a former world record holder for the longest time spent in a hammock suspended over Times Square? So there's a little bit to sift through there. Let me uh, fire that question at you one more time. So who was Peter Longbottom? Was he the inventor of an early hand cranked leaf blower? leaf blower, initially marketed as the auto rake. Was he a British cyclist? Possibly uh, used to ride a penny farthing. Uh, or is he the former world record holder for the longest time spent in a hammock suspended over Times Square? Next question, please. Question six. Ron Weasley is a fictional character in what novel and film series? Ron Weasley is a fictional character, uh, hugely popular, uh, in what novel and film series? Question number seven. Excluding Greenland, what is North America's easternmost city? Okay. Uh, excluding Greenland, what is North America's easternmost city? We're getting to the business end of things now, folks. Question number eight. Joseph Hayden, Franz Liszt, Johann Strauss, and Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart were all born in which European country? Well, there we go. Quite the epicenter. Uh, Joseph Hayden, or Haydn, Joseph Haydn, uh, Franz Liszt, Johann Strauss, and Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart were all born in which European country? Question nine. Is a sub -infa? A French automobile designed with a retractable fifth wheel, how centrally, that could be deployed to pivot the car during tight parking maneuvers? Or is it a muscle of the lower spine that often gets inflamed in people suffering from sciatica? Or was he the king of Ahum Kingdom from 1593 to 1497? I presume that may be referring to an Egyptian king. Who knows? Uh, let me give you that question again. Is the Sup Impha. I'll spell that out because it's a little bit tricky. S U P, like stand up paddleboard. S U P I M P H A A. So is that a pronounce it how you will? Because I'm sure I've made an absolute hash of it. Is that a French automobile designed with a retractable fifth wheel? How centrally that could be deployed, if you will, to pivot the car during a tight parking maneuver? Or is it a muscle of the lower spine that often gets inflamed in people suffering from sciatica? Or was he the king of the Ahum kingdom, A-H-O-M, from 1493 uh, to allegedly 
1497. Final question, question 10. Antarctic explorer Ernest Shackleton was born in which country? We've had a few of those, haven't we, in terms of the country of birth. Uh, question 10. Antarctic explorer, hugely famous, Ernest Shackleton was born in which country? And if you've never read his stories, do have a read. He basically went down to Antarctica on a ship called the Endurance that got uh, stuck in pack ice. They had to abandon the ship, the ship even. Uh, they were down there for months. Every single member survived of the, the party, but they had to get uh, like makeshift sort of life rafts that they uh, you know, fabricated to have higher walls and you know, keep the, the ocean out there. They navigated that to another island, and then from there took one of the boats with a few of the men to, I think it was South Georgia, a, a whaling island, landed on the wrong side of that, so then had to have a three-day sort of mountaineering hike to get to the whaling station. Anyway, ultimately, everyone survived, and it's one of the uh, greatest sort of uh, stories of leadership um, that we've seen in the last couple of hundred years. There we go. Uh, well, that's, uh, things are getting away from me a little bit there, so why don't we uh, get back on track reboard the uh, the boat if you will and free ourselves from the ice pack and set sail to the land of answers so here we go so the bronx is a borough of which you are city new york city okay so what actor here we go starred in stand by me running on empty my own private idaho and sneakers river phoenix if you've uh, seen any of those films, uh, write in the comments below which one was your favourite and why. Uh, question number three. So what metal is a visible layer of the Statue of Liberty made from? Well, of course, it's... I'll give you another clue. It's got a little bit of a green patina. It's sort of weathered that way, which gives a little bit of an indicator as to what the metal is. It is made from copper. The green isn't quite as bright as this one. Uh, it's a much more tasteful kind of a green, if you will. Uh, so, and, of course, the beverage... Uh, made from the blue agave plant, is tequila. Now, Peter Longbottom, uh, unfortunately, was just a British cyclist. Ron Weasley is a fictional character from the novel and then film series, just double-checking this because I've never read any of these books, Harry Potter. Okay, so excluding Greenland, what is North America's easternmost city? Believe it or not, it is St. John's in Canada. And a big hello to all of the viewers from St. John's. Uh, you've been great supporters of Pub Quiz Prep for quite some time, particularly the podcast. And there's a little bit of cross-advertising right there. If you didn't know, I also had a podcast, still do, uh, Pub Quiz Prep. At the moment, I'm kind of loading up old episodes that I recorded some time ago until I figure out how to use a, a new flash microphone. Uh, it's probably more, uh, more trouble than it's what, what it's worth. Uh, it's taken me about three years to uh, get to the point of uh, even thinking, okay, I, I'm, I'm almost ready to plug that thing in. Uh, as soon as that happens, though, I will come up with some more uh, pub quiz prep episodes of the podcast. Okay, back on track. So, but yes, and Johns, thanks for watching and listening and supporting pub quiz prep. Okay, so uh, I'll give you a clue. The answer to this next one isn't Australia, but it's not far off. So... Uh, Hayden, Liszt, Strauss, and Mozart were all born in Austria. Okay, question nine. The Sapimpha was a king of the Ahum kingdom. Who knew? Uh, question ten. Antarctic explorer Ernest Shackleton was born in Ireland. There we go. Thanks so much for playing. Listen, sorry folks, it's been so long since the last round of pub quiz prep on the YouTube channel. But here we go, uh, the next one's here, it's uh, coming your way, and there'll be plenty more to follow. Stay tuned. Have a wonderful week, see you next time, bye for now. Ah, oh, where's that off button? Where's the off button? Thank you for playing Pub Quiz Prep. Question everything. I regularly go home with the meat trays now.